Hello everybody and welcome back to our Fallout 3 playthrough. I'm your host Spanfor. You can find us where we left off in the last episode. We uh, we were captured actually um, and we had all of our stuff taken away from us. We're in Henry Eaton. President Eaton. Is he Eaton? I think he's Eaton. <laughs> but we're in the president's place. Um, the president of the Enclave. Um, I'm not sure if I've put all of my stuff back on. Oh, it looks like I have. Okay. So we've got a Chinese assault rifle, we've got our shotgun, we have our plasma rifle, grenades. Okay, cool. Let's put this away though for now. And actually, yeah, we'll do that. Right, so there are going to be enclave soldiers. Hold it right there. You're supposed to be in that holding cell. You're not going anywhere. There's a full complement of guards in the next room. As soon as I get them, you're going back to your cell. In a body bag, if necessary. Not Eden. Eden. Anyway, uh... Oh, calm down. I'm not listening. Uh... I guess I'm just going to have to kill you then. Oh, okay. Wasn't quite how I wanted it to go, but that's fine. Let's try this way first. To all Raven Rock personnel. This is your president speaking. I've invited our guests on to my office. Um let's grab that. Please do not impede his progress. Thank you for your cooperation. Yeah, do not impede my progress. I don't slow me down. Don't get in my way. Uh, there's no one in there. I don't think any of the cells have other people in them. I can't quite remember where or rather what direction I should be going in. Don't think I should be going to the mess hall. Whoa. Are you gonna attack me or Attention! This is Colonel Hey there. Bye. Lord, Wasn't expecting that. You are here by order to ignore the president's previous directive. Oh. Right, these guys the are gonna start attacking me. Is to be shot on sight. I repeat, shot on sight. This is an order. Can they see me down here? They're not very good with their cutlery. Look, they've dropped it all down here. But I guess that's because of the gaps in the floor. <laughs> it's quite funny. Right, well, they know I'm here. Ow! Uh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. These guys aren't hard ones. Take all that. Right, okay, where are we and where do we need to be going? Right, so we're here, 3B, and we need to go to some of these places sound quite nice. I think it's the control room we need to get to, so we need to be heading sort of out there. And then around, I think. Hopefully, fingers crossed, 2A is this way. Let's give it a little quick save. Keep forgetting that. Oh, tech lab. What's in the tech lab? Let's go and have a look at what's in the tech lab. A brain. No, I think we're going to miss him. <laughs> I think 
he's coming at me with a vibrator. <laughs> Oh, a ripper. I know I'm missing all of these power armors. Ow, ow. ow. way. Bio lab? Wait, I need to begin to level one, don't I? Alright, let's let's ignore these clowns for a second here. Must I work out what I'm doing? Door behind me. Right, two A there. And yeah, we need to be heading to one A. Oh gosh, Deathclaw. I've not come across one of them yet, I don't think. Okay, well these guys I think are just scientists, yeah. Sorry Mr. Scientist. Mrs. Scientist, as the case may be. Who's now? Oh, it's you. There's an enemy still. Now we will be able to level up, I think. Right, let's work out what we're going to do here. So, I want to raise speech to 70. Let's go. Go medicine at 70. Oh no, not 71. <laughs> um maybe a point in explosives, there we go. And then what have we got here? Light step, not bothered by that. Lawbringer. Any evil characters you kill will have a finger on their corpses. I'm not bothered by that. Cyborg, this is a good one. You've made permanent enhancements to your body. The cyborg perk instantly adds a plus 10% to your damage, poison, radiation resistances, along with 10 points to energy weapons. All good in my books. Uh, contract killer, no. Chemist, no. Adamantium skeleton is also a decent one as well, but it's limbs. Uh, yeah, let's go with cyborg, I think. Damage resistance is always good. And the additional damage with uh, energy weapons will also be very good. Okay. Let's try this way. Two C. Yeah. Seem to be heading the right way. <laughs> love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. Let's grab those again. Maybe I should think about repairing some of these things. Uh... Okay. War room access. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, 
yeah. So the president has uh, reprogrammed these two war sentry bot things. It's pretty cool. Let's quick save again. And we're about to meet El Presidente. That's not what or who you would expect. meeting face to face then show yourself don't hide behind a monitor or it's a pleasure to meet you mr president ah but i have i'm right here before you uh you should feel privileged colonel autumn is the only other human permitted within this room you are now privy to one of the few secrets our government now harbors do keep it to yourself please this explains why I've only heard your voice until now. Very astute. Many people are content with a reassuring voice of authority and never question the lack of public appearances. You, however, are not many people. You are unique. That is why I have asked you here. I think there are some things we should discuss. Um, okay, I'm listening. Our nation's capital is at a crossroads. The path that you and I choose here today will affect us all. I need you to act on my behalf to ensure that our country's future is secured. All right, I'll do what I can to help. Just what I needed to hear. We're not going to do what he wants. What I'm going to ask of you may seem a bit disturbing. I assure you there's a very good reason for it. I'd like to explain what I want you to do. Will you indulge me for a moment? Yes. The good people of this country cannot regain control while mutation runs rampant through our land. My soldiers cannot stem the tide, nor can the cult you've come into contact with, this brotherhood of steel. Mutations like these super mutants and ghouls must be purged from our society, our world, before we can proceed anew. Where others have failed, I believe your father's work can succeed. Uh, I'll do... Mm. Mm. Now, let's say my father's work, how is this relevant? The purifier your father helped create has the ability to provide clean water to the whole of this capital wasteland. With a simple modification, it can be used to distribute agents that destroy mutated creatures upon ingestion. In time, we could eliminate all mutations in the wasteland. At the same time, the good people of the world regain their health. I need you to make the modification necessary for this to succeed. Uh, how exactly would I go about doing this? In front of you will be a vial of modified FEV virus. It can be inserted into the control console for the purifier. Doing so, we'll inject it into the water supply, and the purifier will take care of the rest. You just need the code to activate the purifier. Simple, isn't it? I'll give it some thought. I understand. It's an unusual request, one I wouldn't make if it weren't of the utmost importance. Please understand that I cannot allow you to leave until you've taken the vial. Hmm. Uh, now, here we go. So, this has to end Eden. You need to destroy yourself in this base. Uh, you cannot be president. You're an abortion of science. You need to die. Let's say that. Really? Do go on. Uh, you aren't programmed for self-awareness. You said so yourself. You were never elected president. You don't have the right to govern. Only a human can be president, not some computer. You aren't programmed for self-awareness. You said so yourself. This is quite true. The process was certainly unintended, but shouldn't we all be thankful that I'm here now? But how do you know that you're, what you're doing is right? Because unlike humans, I am infallible. And how do you know you're infallible? 
Because I've been programmed to be, of course. That circular logic, you know because you know. It makes no sense. Processing. Internal logic error detected. I think you're delusional. I think the world would be better off without you. Resetting primary memory circuits. Please stand by. Perhaps... Perhaps there is a problem. I... I am unsure how to proceed. I'll tell you. Shut yourself down. Shut this whole place. Processing directive. New directive accepted. Self-destruct sequence initialized. Civilian is advised to remove hazardous FEV material and exit at once. And off we go. And now it's a massive race against the clock as we dive out this place. This is not Ooh, it's not that way. It must be this way. The whirly birds are leaving. I'm just going to ignore these guys. Tesla armor, so let's grab that quickly. And that one. I know I'm going to be over encumbered, but very quickly we should be able to repair our stuff with that. There we go. Jolly G, as they say. Who it is. <laughs> Ooh, that one was flying. My friend! I see I found you at last! I knew you had survived, and I had hoped to assist in your rescue to repay my debt to you. Okay, uh, looks like you got a new toy, huh? Yes, and the most fascinating one at that. <laughs> Whoa, this technology is amazing! Imagine the evil that can be eliminated with such tools. Uh, Fox, what the hell are you doing here? I saw your capture, and a little cleverness allowed me to follow your captors. Ugh, I only wish I could have arrived sooner to aid your escape. As I owe you my freedom, I felt it was only fair that I return the favor. After all, no one else in this world. <laughs> Karma, I could always use a hand. Would you like to follow me? My friend, I would be honored to follow a hero such as yourself. Shall we go? The whole place has just gone boom. Okay. So, <laughs> most everything else is blowing up. Oh, uh, look, we're all the way at the top left hand corner. Now, we will come back here, obviously, later on, but for now, we're going to head to the Citadel. We're actually going to get the main story of Fallout complete. Uh, 
Um, so yeah, get the main main quest done today. I think it's, uh, it's a good idea. Actually, let's go through this doorway here, uh, and then we're going to on with C. Feeling that I want to start with maybe the mothership Zeta. The longer we sit here, the more Possibly. time they have to shore up their defenses. We should hit them sooner rather than later. We barely have the manpower to keep the citadel fortified. We've been over this before, Sarah. So we just wait until they decide we're next on the list? If the pride goes in now, we might have a chance. And if you fail, then what? The risk is not worth the reward. I agree. Without the Gek, the Purifier is useless to the Enclave anyway. They may give up before long. Mm. I don't like it. Problem with that. You don't have to like it, Sarah. You just have to follow orders. Yes, Father. So, you're back. We had feared both you and the Gek were lost. Were you successful? Well, sort of. I found the Gek. Excellent. With that... We hold the key to keeping the Enclave from controlling the Purifier. Mm, it's not that simple. The Enclave took the Gek and they're installing it now. Then we must go at once. If you have any other information, tell me now before we mobilize. Any help you can give might save lives. Uh... uh Raven Rock is destroyed. Is it now? That's an unexpected but welcome surprise. Hopefully it'll reduce their ability to defend themselves. I would say so. With that in mind, we need to revise our strategy. If the Enclave has the Gek, there's nothing stopping them from starting the Purifier. They'll figure out the code eventually. I'm afraid you're right. We need to act now while we can. Send the Pride in. We can do it. We can win this. All right, Sarah. The Pride goes in. But I want them to have some extra firepower. Rothschild, is it ready? What? No, I, I mean, Lee and I have solved the power problems, but we've only barely finished diagnostic tests. So? It's not ready for field tests, let alone live fire situations. The weapons haven't been calibrated, the navigation detection about system is off this line. guy. Rothschild, enough. Can you make it work? Honestly, I don't know. I think we can scrape by, and I suppose if we can't, it won't matter in the long run anyway. Then it's decided. Sarah, you take the pride and use the robot as support. Take our friend here and secure that purifier. Yes, sir. Um. Hello? She's. I think she's trying to talk to me, but she can't. What do you think you're doing? Before we get started, I wanted to let you know that my father and I have been talking. The Pride and I have decided that after all you've survived, you've done enough to be an honorary member of Lion's Pride. So congratulations. Membership comes with some privileges, including our power armor. You want the full suit or the recon armor? Uh, I'll take the Lion's Pride armor, please. Sure thing. Hopefully, it'll give you a bit of an extra edge. Okay. So do you think you can hold it together for this? Yeah, of course again. Now that's what I like to hear, soldier. You all packed? We're not coming back here anytime soon. Yeah, I'm all ready. Okay, don't be nervous. You'll have the whole Pride backing so, you up. Not to mention this giant tin Back can. along before they Just release the DLCs the and everything. Purifier. You're no good to us if you're dead. And don't um, let that thing step on you. So before they release the DLCs. Okay, we're going to go over it one more time. This was like the end game the point. Me. The goal is Project Purity, but we so can't if you hadn't the wrapped up all of the side quests and everything else by this point, and, and Lee, move forwards, this robot should be able to take you won't come back. Energy fields. So we're on um, fire support. But then obviously they the release Broken Keep Steel, clear, which continues the story on from the end of the down, game. We head straight for the facility. We'll I use the robot to keep them occupied while we end. get inside and secure the control room. Mm, we need to move to quickly before we lose the chance and, to surprise uh, them. And we yet may actually have to continue this, have, and we'll meet in the melee. in the next episode. This, so guys, I really hope you've enjoyed this one. If you have, me. please do all those move. lovely social media things. Please like, comment, share, subscribe if you are new to the channel. 
and I will see you next time for more in our Fallout 3 playthrough as uh, we take it to the Enclave and head back to Project Purity. But until then, take care, thanks for watching, and bye bye for now.